let's go somewhere and decide what we want to do. We could do that over a drink. An afternoon. Perhaps. Jester, you said you had wanted to perhaps speak with the gentleman. It's a safe place to go. Also a place of beverages and revelry. <clears throat> Tucked away yeah. from prying eyes. Yeah, yeah. He may know some information. I doubt yeah, she'll want to jump in and try and a stab a stab in the gentleman's place. I mean, probably not. We have to be super careful on the way there, though, yeah. And also, that seems like quite a lot, but that was a lot, and going there could be a lot. Yeah. You ready for that? Well, I mean, you know, I've already seen him before, so it's not like that's the first time ever, so. Well, but sometimes thinking about something and then the moment, you know. Yeah. They're two different things. That's true. I think just pull the band-aid right off, you know, just go and like see him. You're gonna call him dad, like, as soon as we get there, aren't we? Yeah, what would you say? Oh, hey, Dad. Oh. It's good to see you again. So glad that I'm here now. We can be a good family. Oh, boy. Is there anything you want to say to me since it's been a long time? And You're not my daughter. I don't know who you are. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just setting you up for the worst, for the worst, so you don't have this reaction when you see him. He's not going to say that because I'm I disavow you. You're not to me. No, he's not going to say that. Well, I'm just setting you up so that you don't, that you don't do that when you see him. It is good to role play scenarios, you know? I'm going to, if he says that, I'll just say, well, okay, then I guess I'll go. What should I say? I don't know, I have never been like in this that. situation. I, I think maybe, you know, <laughs> a man like the gentleman, it seems like he might have, you know, commitment issues, and if you want to eventually build a relationship with him, you might want to do it slowly. Your right. time. Wow, that's really not. good advice. It's true. You have a pretty good relationship with your dad, right? Yeah, it's what I attempted and it failed, so I don't know if, like, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to go in there as my mom. Oh, that oh. seems. I don't know. Wow. That that seems I don't know. Wow. Wow. Oh, you know. Miss me on that one. <laughs> he's the thing. He doesn't know I'm in the city, and if I go in there as my mom and he he, he doesn't recognize her, then. Oh. It's not my dad. I don't. I don't know. But if I go in there as my mom, and he's like, "Oh my god!" I don't know if tricking I your father you into so a relationship much. with you I'm is sorry the best. I'm sorry I left you well, with, well, when you were pregnant. Oh no! Let's this play a game, so, though. Oh. Talk like your mother. Oh, I do that all the time. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Why are we, Babadon? It's so good to see you. It's been so long. I've missed you so much, my dearest. Pretty good, actually. Good. Yeah, she's almost as good as me. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're missing the point that this is like a bad idea, though. No, no, actually, I mean, doesn't he have vials of our blood? And Does that give him the ability to know that we are here now? Only know. if he's like actively looking. It's not like he's got them on like little mm. dingers or something what that says when they're close What if he's assigned someone to by. tracking all the vials of okay, blood? Okay, still, <laughs> you, it's, are we still missing the overall point that you can't trick your dad into a relationship by pretending to be your mom? Well, I think what Jester is going is wow. to illicit find out reaction. He actually is my dad. But here's the thing. I'm going to be honest great. with you guys, okay? But not with him. You can be honest with us, yeah, but not yeah, with him. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Are we gonna have to watch you flirt with your dad? No, Ooh, gross. it's really Whoa. just to see this initial reaction, you know? I because like it. here's the thing: <laughs> every time I told him he's my dad, every time I've talked to him, I was lying. He doesn't actually say like, "Oh my gosh, Jester, please come see me." He doesn't say that. What he does says. he say? He says, "You're not my daughter. I don't know who you are. You've got the wrong guy." You were surprisingly bad. accurate, actually, then. That's it. Well, I'm sorry for mm. that. What is well, it? A couple of uh, variations on your plan. Not saying not to do your plan. You could paint a picture and show it to him to see if they're response. Or you could have Ford or myself take on the appearance so that yes. his either affections or You can watch ire, his face. He's going to make out with me. I'll just drop it, but you guys. It's not like I'm going to be like. Ooh. Sometimes you panic and do weird things, though. Just what if you like? What? I'm just saying. I'm not. just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, 
I think it's a good idea. I think it's a really good idea, you guys. I like it. I actually like it a lot. Thank you for it. I support you. But I just. Beauregard does not like this idea. It sounds. Amazing. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, It's a little weird. And, (laughs) you know, what almost got you killed in Nicodronus was by doing this exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's what got you kicked out yeah. and banned your best case scenario. What well, what is the I best mean, thing that can happen? I best care about best case scenario. Succeed, best try, case scenario, he goes, Marion, I've missed you so much. And then I drop and I go, ha ha, you fucking liar, you are my dad. And then you betrayed your dad right in yeah. front of him. And you, But he's a gentleman. He's into sneaky shit. He'll but be like, oh, Jester, you you're so sneaky. I respect you so much more than before. Wow. That's right. I, I, I like will it. Be, I think he'll be embarrassed. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think he'll be embarrassed and he'll be resentful a little, a little bit. I think so, too. Look, I know we're the Mighty Nine and we, we like to build expectations way before any situation we get into, but. Just come, come here, come here, come here. I pull what, her aside. What, pull her aside. Just, just, just some away from the guys. You notice ever since she got the robe, she's really Bo's been really like. There's been a take charge <laughs> attitude that she just kind of kicked in. I'm coming too. All right, she's, come on, chaos crew. She's kind of always been a pain in the ass to be honest. I'm very impressed by Red. This is like I, I like this new this new uh, vibe. Girl talk. What is it? Girl talk. New. I I want to help you figure this out. I really do. Hmm. I think it's important if he is your dad for you to find that out. I think that's fair and to actually maybe have a chance at a relationship with your father. Yeah. I just, I want to let you know that I'm not trying to shoot down your idea because I don't support what you're trying to go for, but I just care about you and your safety and just. This has given me like that tingle up the back of my spine, like it could backfire I in an unsafe way. I agree. I mean, mm-hmm. I will say this: the last several times that we've seen my family, I've been in disguise, and it just feels wrong. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like you're really making a connection if you're de- deceiving them with your very appearance. Okay. You can do this just to go with your instinct. What if then, what if we go and they go as me? And if he is like, he just keeps denying it, denying it, denying it, denying. Bamf as Marion, just to see what his reaction is. You and could. then I can bamf, because if, you, you know, if he really loves my mom, then he'd be like, oh, for a split second. That feels maybe more upfront and less. Potentially I, bad. I think that you will know in the first second of seeing him as yourself if he's your dad. Just the way he looks at you when you walk into the room, you will know instantly. He's, he's like, he makes a whole career out of secrets. I know, but a, a parent mm-hmm. cannot disguise the way they look at their child. Hey. One of the only good nights that I ever had was my dad. I found him with a half-empty bottle of wine. He passed it over to me. It's probably the only real conversation we really ever had. Were you disguised as your mom? No, I can't okay. do that. Cool, cool. <laughs> Maybe just sitting down and having a drink with him. I don't know. Did you play Uno? <laughs> You I always, know? I always dream you of playing know? Uno with my dad. He was more of like a like a Parcheesi type of a guy, oh, which was it's like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking plays Parcheesi. It's Marquisi in game. I was gonna say, are Uno and Parcheesi now weirdly Parcheesi. canon? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Invented it. Mm-hmm. Canon. 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 Jenga, Parcheesi. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Just Hasbro. all of Milton Bradley. Yeah, Milton. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, My father's <laughs> name was Milton Bradley. All right, hmm. I won't Milton do it. Bond. If you guys Bradley. think it's a bad idea, I won't do it. I'm proud I think of it's a good idea to see him. Mm. Okay. And we're going to be begging for sanctuary for anything. 
You just walk into conversations. You it's just showed up. You scared me. Uh, well, I mean, no yeah. matter where I go. It's okay. Can you just, you know? No, you're yeah. cool. You're welcome just, into any conversation. Hey, well, you were, the guys were taking a while, and I think we should kind of stick together. So <laughs> yeah, We did just walk three feet away. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Where let's did we go. land? Are we all How looking like the Ruby of the Sea when we're going? Yeah, we're all walking in as the Ruby of the Sea. It's like Harry Potter. All of us. It's nice to see you. If we go to Tomorrow we can do that, <laughs> <laughs> but not today. Um, no, because then I won't be able to. Nice, kind of that. slacking a little bit to the back of the chamber where you've many times seen the gentleman. Uh, he is sitting there with a pair of spectacles at the end of his nose, currently like pouring over what looks like a stack of paperwork with a number of large bags on the table, uh, and is currently in the process of like counting and putting gold into what looks like sacks. Um, you're not sure what the breadth or reason of this is, and then standing behind him, you see Sarah, the female Goliath bodyguard, just kind of staring you all down as you approach. Uh, he kind of takes a moment, looks up. Oh, my goodness, it has been some time, has it not? And he takes the glasses off, sets them down. Mighty Nine, right? Indeed. You look, um, you look different, hardened. I take it this war has been profitable for you as well? Uh, no, we've actually been pretty broke, I feel like. We're, we're doing okay we're right doing now. Okay now. Ebbs and flows, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> well, there are bitter businesses in times of war. Are you come for work? Because uh, I have plenty. I'll uh, just hand him a handkerchief. Just have a little, a little little schwitz there, you're schwitzing a little bit. Thank you. We, we've actually come for help, and hopefully to have a conversation about. About the fact that you're my dad. <laughs> well. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Make an insight check. I mean, I'll, I'll, Four. I've got the, I've got the insight up anyway, I have advantage rolling right now, so sure. Uh, that's oh. a, a 25. 25. Oh. 